Hello everyone, my name is Zarina. So today I'm going to present Ted Arson, who is founder of Carnival Cruises Line. So my uh, I named uh, my presentation Best Cruise. So here you can see my content. First of all, introduction, bibliography, business highlight, lesson learned, and conclusion. So let's start his bibliography. Uh, first of all, Arizona was born on February 24, 1924, into a family merchandise and maritime professionals. His father, Marion Arizon, founded a shipping company called Palace & Maritime, which played a significant role in transporting Jewish immigrants to Palestine during the 1930s. This exposes to the maritime industry influenced Ted Arson's future career path. So, coming to early life, uh, Theodora Arison was a third generation Israel of Jewish Romanian heritage. During, during World War II, Arison fought with the Jewish British of the British Army and then as an IDF lieutenant colonel during Israel's War of the Independence. In 1952, Arizon moved to the USA, becoming Arizon in the hopes of better financial opportunities. And then in 1966, Arizon teamed up with Nat Cluster to create Norwegian cruise line. The company started with one small cruise shipping offering, very cheap Caribbean tours grow very quickly. Ted Arson displayed an entrepreneurial spirit from the young age growing up in the family involved in the shipping industry he gained a valuable insight and experience that likely influenced his later business venture um, additionally that arson philosophic activities spanned several decades fox focusing on various causes such as education healthcare and the arts while specific initiative and project would need to be explored further, a reason aligned with the broader trends of corporate social responsibility and charitable giving during the late 20th century. So, uh, and then his father, Mayor Arison, co founded the Palestine Stampship Company, which later became ZIAM integrated shipping service before founding Carnival Cruise Line. Arizon worked in his family shipping business and gained experience in maritime industry. Um, coming to 1972, Arizon left Norwegian and uh, he started a new business, new company, which is Carnival Cruises Line. So after that, uh, Ted Arson founded Carnival Cruises Line, which marked the beginning of his significant impact on the cruise industry. Arison recognized the potential for making cruising more accessible and appealing to wider audience. He started with one ship to Mardi Gras, which had been purchased from the Canadian Pacific Line. And here I need to mention that Arizon's vision was to create an affordable and enjoyable cruising experience. His business strategy focused on providing value for amount of money, offering shortened cruises and targeting middle class consumers. Carnival Cruises line adopted a more casual and festive atmosphere compared to traditional cruise offerings attracting a broader customer base so here you can see it uh, you can see the picture which is the Arizon um, from the company thought strategy acoustic uh, which is Holland American line Junior line Costa Cruises and Princess so uh, the country the, this is contributed to the growth and dominance of Carnival Corporation as the world's largest cruise ship operator. So, innovative marketing brandings, um, Arizon's efforts played a significant role in Carnival's success because he emphasizes creating a fun and festive atmosphere on board Carnival ships. 
appealing to a younger demographic family. Here you can see Carnival Magic Tour, which happened last year. And second one also Carnival Breeze Tour. You can see the picture. Uh, people also like um, visit to uh, Carnival Breeze Tour. So, Arisen's leadership and business assuming played a significant role in Carnival Corporation success because he led the company with focus on customer satisfaction, operational efficiency, and continuous innovation, allowing it to navigate through challenges and capitalize on the market opportunities. So, uh, let's start how his business going on now. Uh, that's it until now, uh, since the hours and days in 1999, Carnival Cruise Line, as part of Carnival, Carnival Corporation, has continued to grow and expand its operations. After his death, his son, Mick Arison, became the president of the company. So, who is the Mick Arison? Actually, he's born in 1999. Um, 49, chair of Carnival Corp, dropped off the college uh, and working sales at Carnival, founded by his father Ted Arison, become president in 1979 and served as CEO. So, late Carnival sold an associate of several other cruises lines and helped increase it profitably and took control over Miami Heat. So you can see here two pictures, first uh, fleet expansion, uh, second one destination offerings. So what is this? Carnival Cruise Line has expanded its fleet by intro introducing new and innovative ships. This includes Carnival Vista, Carnival Horizon and Carnival Panorama, which offer enhanced amenities, entertainment options and onboard experiences for passengers. The second one is uh, the cruise line um, including diverse range of destinations worldwide catering to different preferences and attracting and broadening customer base. So here you can see the Carnival Cruise Line's uh, menu which is hamburger and burger uh, on board invested in enhancing onboard amenities and experiences so here um, i, I want to show the existing overview uh, actually company completed monumental 70s 80s month journey marking our full return to guest cruise operation over the past 18 months they have returns 90 ships to service, reboarded over 100 team members to our ship, restarted our unmatched portfolio of each private island and port destination, restarted our unrivaled land-based footprint in Alaska and the Yukon. So welcome back nearly 9 million guests. So here you can see um, last year's award. So, revenue in the fourth quarter of uh, the last year was 3.8 billion, which was 18 percentage of uh, 2019 levels. This was better than the third quarter of the last year, which was compared 66 percentage of the 2019 levels and improvement of 40 percentage point so i'm going to talk about swap analysis so first of all strangers so which uh, which position includes in the strange first so strong market position diverse brand portfolio operational efficiency so what about weakness Weakness, vulnerability to external factors, environmental impact, concentration of risk. So opportunities, growing demand for cruises, 
emerging markets, sustainable practices. You can uh, read all of the information which I mentioned here. So, coming to three, public health concerns, competitive landscape, regulatory environment. So, 10 hours and time life of enterprise. Uh, yeah, 2094, Ted Arson is born in Jerusalem, Palestine, now Israel. 1972, Arizon founds Carnival Cruise Line. So, 1918, Carnival Cruise Line expanded its fleet and offerings. So, 1987, Carnival Corporation is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So, 1990, Arizon steps down as chairman of Carnival Corporation. 1994, Carnival Corporation acquired Holland American Line. After three years, Carnival Corporation acquired the Costa Cruises. Uh, and uh, last one last year, 1999, Ted Arson died. So here uh, you can see my lesson learned conclusion. Actually, Ted Arson identified an untapped market segment by making cruising more affordable and accessible to the middle class demographic. He recognized potential to attract a large customer base by offering a value cruises experiences, targeting those who had not traditionally considering cruising as a vacation option. Because Ted Arson's Carnival Cruise Line showcased this importance of the identifying market opportunities, focusing on customer satisfaction, fostering innovation, and maintaining real resilience in the dynamic industry. So, my conclusion is that our son, Carnival Cruise Line, has left a lasting impact on the cruise industry, Arizon's uh, entrepreneurial vision and business acumen revolutionized the industry but by making cruises more affordable and appealing to a broader range of travelers, uh, travel people. Uh, additionally, the Arson Carnival Cruise Line exemplified the power of entrepreneurship innovation and customer centricity. The company's growth and success has left a significant mark on the cruise industry, shaping the way people perceive and experience cruise vacation. So, this is my reference. Thank you for listening and watching.